Yo, what is up, guys? It is Card Shuffler 99 here today. We're going to show you guys an awesome card trick, but before we get into that, make sure to check out our giveaway. We're giving away an iPhone 11. If you want to be entered, make sure to like this video, be subscribed to the channel, turn those notifications on, which is the bell button, and make sure to comment something down in the comment section below, and you'll be entered in the giveaway. Uh, this is a really cool card trick, and I think we're ready to get into it. Adam. Would you please come here? I'm gonna give you the deck of cards and I want you to shuffle the cards until you are satisfied and choose any nine cards uh, in the deck and just put them on the table. Nine cards? Any nine cards you want. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and we only need these nine cards. We'll get rid of the rest of the deck. Now, Adam, I want you to select any one of these nine cards, all right? Show the camera, don't show me, all right? And put it back wherever you would like. Anywhere I want? Anywhere you want. All right. Now, Adam, what we're going to do is we're going to give the deck a quick shuffle. And what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you some questions, all right? And you have the option to either tell me the truth to the question or you can lie, all right? So you can lie or you can tell the truth, except for the very last one. And right. I'll let you know which one that is, all, all right? right? All right, bet. All right, all right. Let's see if you can do this. Try and fool me, all right? Trust me, I got this. Now, first question. Was your card clubs, a heart, a spade, or diamonds? Clubs. Clubs, all right. C-L-U-B-S, right? We're going to spell it out and put the rest of the cards on top. And then we'll get rid of the top and the bottom card. Okay. Adam. Was your card a face card or a number card? Face. Face card. F-A-C-E. Put the rest of the cards on top and get rid of the top and the bottom card. Adam, was your card an ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king? Ace. Ace. All right. A-C-E. Place the rest of the cards on top. Get rid of the top and bottom card. Now, you can still lie to me here. Did you lie to me during this trick? No. All right. And oh, rest of the cards on top. Get rid of the top and bottom card. Now, Adam, do you remember what your card was? You have to tell the truth for this one. Yes, I do. What was it? The Queen of Spades. The Queen of Spades is the final card. What? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's learn how to do this trick. All right. So... There really, there is no setup for this trick, which is one of the cool parts about it. Um, and you don't need a full deck of playing cards, which is also really cool. For a lot of tricks, <clears throat> you need a full deck of playing cards. For this, you only need nine. So you don't even need to have a full deck or even half a deck. You just need to find nine random playing cards, and you can do this trick right off the bat. Uh, you can start with the, uh, the spectator shuffling the cards, have them choose nine cards themselves. Don't even touch the deck, and that's going to make them feel really confident in their selections. And then even after they choose their nine cards, have them shuffle it again. This way they are really confident in their um, selection of the nine cards. Now, after you have them select the nine cards, have them select any one of the nine cards. So let's go for the tutorial. We'll go with the 10 of diamonds. Now, here is the important part. You have to keep track of where they put the 10 of diamonds or their selection back. You don't need to know what it is, but you need to know where they put it, in what position, all right? So you're gonna be looking down as you spread out the cards. So we're gonna go through here. Let's say they place it in the fifth position, right? So they put it in the middle. What you're gonna do is basically wherever they put it, just count the amount of cards on top of their card. So if they put it in the third position, you're gonna count one, two, right? If they put it um, all the way down here, right? You, all you have to do is count the cards in front of it. So you have it spread out. They put it back here. Count the cards on top. So in this case, it would be six, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring the cards back, square it up, know how many cards are on top of it. So in this case, we have six, right, of their selection. And you're going to count that many cards down. So what you're going to do is you're going to do an overhand shuffle, right? You're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then place the rest of the cards on top. 
Now, let's say in this, what if they only, uh, they put it in this position right here. They put it in the fourth position, right? You count three cards. You go one, two, three, put the rest of the cards on top. What you're doing is you're controlling their card to the top. Now, after you control their card to the top, what you're going to do is peel off the top card, just the top card only, so only their card, and then you can make this one look random. You're not counting. Take two or three, take two or three, take the rest, throw the, throw the rest on top. That one is completely random except for the first one. So, right, you, let's say they, we're going to restart here. Let's say they put it in fourth position, right? One, two, three, rest of the cards on top. This one doesn't matter except to make sure you peel the top card off first, and then you can do as many cards as you want, right? doesn't matter. Throw the rest on top. That will control to the bottom. And then for this one, after you control to the bottom, you have to count four cards. One, two, three, four, and then throw the rest on top. Now, you don't have to do this strategy I use, but I think this is the easiest one. And what you have to do is just control their card to the fifth position. So four cards on the top of their selection, four cards on the bottom of the selection. Their selection's in the middle of the nine cards. You can do it any way you want. I find that's the easiest way. Looks pretty natural. You're just over... And shuffling the cards looks pretty good now after you get it in the fifth position it's basically self-working from here you just have to ask them the questions now be careful the answers to the questions um you have to be careful of how you word them so we're gonna go through the first question first question um so what you can do is the first question you're gonna ask them what suit now also they can lie for these questions except for the last one where they tell you what their card is so make sure you mention that you can say you can tell me the truth or you can lie to what your card is all right and they can lie they can tell the truth it doesn't really matter so you ask them was your card a heart a spade clubs or diamonds now for the heart and the spade you get rid of the s all right now you need to get rid of the s Otherwise, the trick will not work because you can't place down six cards and still have their card in the center. Because the point is, every answer, their card is going to stay in the center of the, of the packet. And then you take off the top and bottom, and then you end up with their, their card in the center. So, heart, no S. Spade, there's no S at the end either. Clubs, you need an S at the end. And then diamonds. So, let's say in this case, uh, they cho cho chose a heart. So, H-E-A-R-T, heart, right? After you place down the five cards, or if they chose diamonds, you put them all down, right? Place the rest of the cards on top. What that does is it keeps their card in the center, right? So once again, heart, spade, clubs, or diamonds. Then after the first question, take off the top card, take off the bottom card, all right? You, you really are. There's no sleight of hand here. Now, you're left with seven cards. For the next question, it, there, you're going to say, was your card a face card, which is four, or numbers, or a number card? Right, doesn't really matter what they say. Uh, they can say either. All right, so face F A C E. Place the rest of the cards on top. Right, but don't say faces card. Was it faces? No, it's just face. No S there. Take the top card, bottom card off. Now, from here, you're going to be left with five cards. Um, it really doesn't matter which one they say, because even if they say, uh, I'll go through it for you guys. So let's say they say. Ace two, when you're asking what, what the card was, ace two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, jack, queen, king. It doesn't matter what they say um, at all. So let's say they say ace, A, C, E, right? Put the rest of the cards on top, right? Their card's still gonna be in the center. Their card's in the center. Let's say they say four, which is a four letter one. F O U R, place the rest of the cards on top, right? I just place this on top. Doesn't even matter because their card is still in the center. So it really doesn't matter what um, value they select in this uh, situation. It doesn't really matter. So let's say they go with seven. You go S-E-V-E-N, right? That's the five-letter word. You take off the top card and you take off the bottom card, right? Now, once again, their card's still in the center, which is the most important part of the trick. You ask them, did you lie to me? Now, they can still lie here. Make sure you let them know that. They can still lie. Um, doesn't really matter what they say. If they say yes, you just say Y E. S, right, take off the top and bottom card, or if they say no, just say N O, place the rest of the cards on top, and then get rid of the top and bottom card. Now make sure the make sure for this part right here, tell them that they have to tell the truth because you don't want the trick to be ruined because they say a different card than their actual selection. So before you say what was your card, be like, all right, you have to tell the truth for this final question. Are you ready? What was your card? They're gonna say the ten of diamonds, and then you can reveal 
the 10 of diamonds, their selection. Thank you guys so much for watching this trick. This is Card Shuffler 99. Peace out.